Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with his trainer, Joel Diaz. Wearing red with white, official weight, 167.6 pounds. His professional record stands at 23 fights, 21 victories, including 12 knockouts with only two to peace. He's a former WBC silver international champion as light heavyweight and super middleweight, and also former WBC ranked challenger in the world, Omni. Fighting out of the blue corner with his trainer, Eddie Reynoso, wearing black with white, also officially weighing in at 167 points. Go Mexico! Presentando a gran campeón, Saul Canelo! Instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. God bless. Thank when you, asked what he expected of himself tonight, Canelo said a two year layoff. A Had to wait seven before piece. Canelo got into the ring. Turns into a seek and destroy warrior. We believe that will be the game plan for the Turkish Wolf. 12 rounds for the unified Supers. That's, that, that's that uppercut that Canelo is going to be looking for. Uppercut that pulled Gilda Brown a few years ago. Anthony Durrell landed sponsor. Yes, it is a punch that will be there. Canelo went constantly to the body against Rocky. Gilda being a little bit more patient than perhaps we thought. He starts off real aggressively. He's dropped. He's landed a punch yet. Belt line goes Canelo and again with the right hand. I'm sure including Canelo or you'll dare him to come out really aggressive. That's his style. He's rugged and he puts pressure in there. But maybe this is part of the reason he's called or was called Mr. Robot is that he keeps that guard, guard really. Let's see if we can, if Yildrum's going to let that right hand go. So far it's been a jab fix. Well, so far, what I could see that Joel Diaz taught Abby Yildrim is patience in the first round. He's dropped fighters early in the first round, second Very round. Pedestrian round one, especially from Yildrim. That uppercut just to land those body shots right there. Anytime you have a, a, a fighter that keeps that high, it's the uppercuts and the body shots around the elbow. That Joel Diaz, Chris. he has started slow. He has. And one of the things you worry about with Yildrum before the copy box. Nice uppercut with the right hand. Yeah. That's one of them. Anthony Durrell landed 43% of his power punches. Chris Eubank landed 51. Yildrum's got to get busy. It's target practice. And it's a stationary target. Well, he wants that. Yildrim is not letting his punches go. That's only going to encourage more explosive. Again, uppercut, right hand. Yildrim does not. You think that's an early game plan, or something he's learning on the fly that those are the punches that are landing? No, and he saw Anthony Durrell fight Yildrim. He knows exactly when you have a high guard like Yildrim does. Eddie Reynoso is one of the best strategists in boxing. It's clear that he is looking at things available to you every single time. Longer can he stick around if he just keeps absorbing all these uppercuts and body shots? That was a vicious left hook. Right on the belt line. And there was the right hand. He just standing right in the middle of the ring. Not much moving. Really aggressive and puts the pressure, but if this is the game plan, you gotta at least give him credit for being patient, and the speed, and the, engage the timing of Canelo before he starts his offense. Another easy round to score for the champ. Abney, when you're here, cover up. Watch his uppercut. Hey. And this is going to be the money punch for Canelo all night right there. That right uppercut, that left uppercut 
which is going to bring up a field trim. And then he can concentrate on the body, but those uppercuts. Joel Diaz said step back, make him round three, scheduled for 12. That block, that punch was blocked, and you've seen Yildrim jump up in the air. Oh, Canelo punches, even when blocked. One significant power punch yet. Canelo, on the other hand, doesn't. As Canelo continues to land those lefts to the body. That right hand from Yildrim scored. Blocking those shots, believe me. Oh, and one, two, and down goes Yildrim. He's trying to laugh it off. The fastest knockout in the last 10 years was James Crown. Can he beat it tonight? He senses the end downstairs. I'm back. Look at Canelo just piecing him apart. Yildrim. Yildrim is hurt to the body. Canelo should keep digging, doubling up downstairs. And again, a straight run. Those things have happened. If Canelo doubles up on one side of the body, Yildrim will go down again. He's hurt. You know, Sergio, we talked about how guys tend to sit down on these punches. Sergio. Well, as a bigger man, he's allowed to let Canelo. Maybe he needs to turn back into Mr. Robot. Yes, he does. Maybe he does. I'm going to give you one more round, Abby. If I don't see your work, I'm going to stop you. I'm telling you. You better hide. And here we're going to see Canelo turn the right hand just to penetrate. And that's the problem with that type of defense right there. You, you block your peripheral you vision. Stopped the fight. It's over. No more from Abney Yildrum, and this was just a pound-for-pound beatdown. For Abney Yildrum, he did the talking, he did not do the walking. Yeah, the new and improved Abney Yildrum knew. Just... That's it. And this was a stay-busy fight. I think he stayed busy, but he got the knockout, and he's gonna move Excellent on. performance by the pound-for-pound -pound king. Yildrum suffered an injury, or his will was crushed. Either way, he gave Anthony Terrell everything he can handle by those rough tactics, but a strong fighter, a confident fighter. And leading, the lights are too bright for certain people, especially when you're not accustomed to, to be. There was no reason for Canelo to fight this guy other than he was a mandatory. Canelo should not be fighting. What no. say you? What say me? Activity. So, Canelo. Five, one and two, that low loss, obviously.